One. Your conscience, your subconscious, unlimited intelligence, understanding, wisdom, insight, foresight, knowledge, and experience. That's how I see you. Unlimited power and authority. Chapter four. Then Unlimited he up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Ability to create power and authority. It's your nights. universe. You're one with God. And what you say and what goes. You're the final decision said, maker. If thou be the son of God, command Unlimited vigor, vitality, pep and energy. But he answered and said, Unlimited wealth and resources. Everything needed and a whole lot alone. more. The abundance is a thrill. Unlimited ability to create. You can create anything you want and show everybody else how they can do the same. And I see you folks as pure thought. No negative, no second level, no trivial, no ugly. I see you as happy, cheerful, humorous, full of love for everybody, calm, confident, enthusiastic, eating right, sleeping right, helping animals, being refined, counting blessings, counting pure thoughts. I see you as your work up to date. No burden is on schedule. It is then for good for nothing. With two hours alone and empty down, every day. And be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. And all of your present blessings continue. Never ask for new blessings unless you say present blessings continue. And it giveth life unto all that are in the The universe. Let your light born before alive, healthy, your good work, food. Holy, a home, freedom and independence, no catastrophes, finances, education, your career, your spouses, your children, your relatives. I see you as helping millions. Leading people to be perfect. Stopping the cruelty to animals. Stopping the injustice in the courts. Setting these judges straight to do what they're supposed to do instead of what the gangsters in the back room are telling them what to do. Which is, you get out there and make as much money as you can. And I don't care how you have to do it. You just make money. And it's ours. But I say unto you, that's how I see you. Isn't that great? That's the way you're going to be. Just keep that vision in front of you. You're going to be that way. Did you hear about the two ships that collided? I'll have to tell you about it. Hold on just a second. Matthew 5. Heaven, for it is God's throne, 
nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. Neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be, yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man shall sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him point, give to him that asketh thee. And from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do good to them that hate you, and pray for them, which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. That's right, folks. You just heard it. You just heard it. Be ye perfect. Even as your Father in Heaven is perfect. And people say, nobody's perfect. Well, the devil said that. And the devil figures if enough people say that enough times, people are going to believe it. Don't you believe it? Be perfect, even as your Father in Heaven is perfect. Matthew chapter 5. So, one ship collided with another ship. The first ship was carrying a load of purple paint. The second ship was carrying a load of red paint. And at the last report, the crews of both ships were marooned. Maroon joke, maroon clothes, and a maroon Lincoln. I have some jokes for you, other jokes. This week's jokes. You heard about Nellie Potter, the crossword puzzle addict? She changed her will. And she said, when I die, I want to be buried six down and three across. And in White Plains, a citizen was hauled into court for not paying his bill in a donut shop. He was charged with impersonating a police officer. And this week's Clairvoyance Club is not going to meet, uh, not going to meet, and that's due to unforeseen circumstances. A wine truck collided with a cheese truck, resulting in. An instant fundraiser. Marilyn says, my husband suffers from insanity, and her mother says, he doesn't suffer from it, he enjoys it. And the church has a new conference table. The consistory has a new conference table. It's nine feet wide, it's 30 feet long, and it sleeps 20. And Billy was asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he says, I want to be a philanthropist. They seem to have the money.
chapter 1. The book of the generation. Bill says there's only one thing that keeps him from being rich. Money. This is March. The 13th. Friday. And you know this, we may not see another snowstorm. I've seen springs like this. And by the way, a week from today is spring, the vernal equinox. When the days are the same length as nighttime, hours each. What's the difference between Xerox and the food? A Xerox machine makes facsimiles and the flu makes sick families. So the man's walking down the beach, folks, and he picks up his shell, and he puts it up to his ear, and he hears a voice, why aren't you working, you bum? It's his mother-in-law. Anthony says that he's gone on a half a year, he's gone on a half a year's cruise, he's gone up the river for another six months is what he's really saying. And the advice I give people lasts for a long time. Nobody comes back for more. Advise, that's a nice word, to recommend a course of action. Marilyn says about her boyfriend, Dad, he has only one fault. And Dad says, right, one fault. He's unbearable. Marilyn was asked, why do you always take your paycheck to the bank? And she said, because it's too little to go by itself. And you heard about the fellow who wanted to join Paranoids Anonymous, but they wouldn't tell him where they held the meeting. Joni says last year at this time she was miserable and depressed. But this year she's turned that around completely. Now she's depressed and miserable. And why does Helen call her son-in-law Blister? He never shows up until after it's done. And the chairman of the company at the retirement party said, Bill has always given us an honest day's work, even if it's taken him a week to do it. And Betty said to her father about the boyfriend, he's only trying to get ahead. And the father said he needs one. Did you hear about the little boy? He had a little dog. And every day they would go to school together, and it was so cute. It was so endearing. They'd go off to school together, and then they'd come home in the afternoon together. But finally one day, it was over. The dog graduated. This has gone to our cheerful look at life. Keep the courage flaming. I think that's a lineup. There were three of them. And then you decided to sleep on my clothes. But it looks like these kitty cats want to go out into the March weather, where it was 14 degrees when we started videotaping, and now it's 20. So, folks, did you hear from up above anything to tell me? I'm looking through the joy book. Uh, to see if anything happened from above to tell you. And here comes Amadeus. Amadeus, you want to say hello to the people? Huh? Yeah. You want to say hello to the people? Huh? What a handsome face. Oh, what a handsome boy. Uh, if you hear anything from up above, please tell me. Just a closer walk with thee.
Jesus friend if you please Haley walking close to thee let it be dear Lord let it be and the problem is is that Amadeus wants to knock the CD and the speakers onto the ground. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, help me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied at one as I walk. Let me walk, walk with thee. They don't see anything for you folks. Except the refrain. Get up in the morning at 5 o'clock and spend the first two hours with God claiming your treasure. Everything is in that treasure that you want. Health and wealth, goodness, kindness, Success, appreciation, joy, peace, appreciation by your relatives, love. The, I think we should talk about the First Amendment. Do you remember what the five freedoms were in the First Amendment? Freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom to assemble peacefully freedom to petition your government for a redress of grievance. Now the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. I believe in what Alice Harrington said of Friends of Animals years and years ago, the right to arm bears. And she has an interesting logo. She has a bear carrying an arm then a fair fight. Until then, it is not a fair fight. It's a cowardly, cowardly act. This. <coughs> you don't have to house them. Excuse me. And the Fourth Amendment is extremely important. That there shall be no illegal searches and no illegal seizures. That there shall be a warrant and they do. there shall be a warrant under oath and there will be no such seizures or warrants or searches without probable cause that is the fourth amendment and that is so important the first amendment is so important the fourth amendment is so important and then some we can talk about the fifth which is mightily important. I like these words and I like to bring them to you because it's a means of communications between you and me. What is an advocate? An advocate is somebody who pleads cause of another. Do you anybody who is an advocate for you? Does anybody plead your cause? Adonamic. Great word. What does it mean? You lost your dynamics. Do you know anybody like that? One list. Perfect. Means uh, having different properties as to, for instance, the velocity of transmission of light, compressibility, conductivity. In other words, it's indifferent. In other words, it's not isotropic. Do you know people like that? Aesthete. An aesthete is somebody who makes much or overmuch of the beautiful. The best words we hear affable. Affable. A F F A B O E. Easy to speak to. Courteous and able in response to another's address. What a great thing to let them to be. Affectation. Is an attempt to exhibit what is not real. I've known a few of those. Affectation. And it to exhibit what is not real or name. 
and affecting, touching, moving, and pathetic, affecting, uh, affecting the sensibilities, during the emotion, touch suggests a more or less transitory emotion, whereas moving suggests a deep agitation which very often leads to action or expression. Sympathetic applies to that which arouses sympathy, sadness, or pity. What's the fun? Trust. Reliance. Faith. Our mind is God. So, as I told you before, Chat with Lindor always has a happy ending. He is glad when it's over. If I can help you, I would like to. If you have any announcements, I would like to help you with that. This is March. These programs are going on in April. So, if you have any announcements in March, they will be on in April. If you have any in April, they will be on in uh, April. They'll be on in uh, May. I love you. I wish you the best. Remember, I see you as perfect. The full moon was the 11th, and this is the 14th, and it's 6.15 a.m. Which is too pretty of a picture to pass up. And too great a blessing to pass by. This is south, and it's about 45 degrees. Angle of the earth. The temperature? I don't know. We haven't had any snow since March the 2nd. So it's been a good March. And there's a little kitty cat out here, patting my knees. <laughs>